Hey guys, my name is Critical, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the computerized storage system from uh, Project Red Transportation or just Project Red. Uh, so, first, you're going to need a chest. Ooh, I'm getting some frames lost because I'm uploading in the background. Uh, you're going to need some routed. Uh, you're going to need. Whoa, whoops, press A. You're going to need a interface pipe. You're going to need some junction pipe. You need a request pipe and item trans. You're gonna need some item transport pipes. Uh, then you're going to need. Let's type in this chip. You're gonna need item responder chips, uh, item extractor chips, and item broadcaster chips. So basically, the most simple one is this. Okay, so if you have this, if these are your two. Okay, let's say you got four double chests set up and these are where your st items are going to go. Basically, all you want to go, you just want to do this, this, and that. And then you want to have a junction pipe. And then, basically what you want to do, is since you have that, um, just put it on like this. And then right click with the, uh, the responder chip. Uh, don't worry about this one, go to this and set it to blacklist. Uh, this is just the most simple way. There's like you can do um, uh, auto crafting, but right now this uh, the version of Project Red that does not work because it will crash your server or game. So I would not suggest trying it because even if you try to do something, it will crash your game, and sometimes it will just delete the whole world that you just played on if you're playing a single player. So I would not try that. Um, this is just the most simple way. Uh, you can do it. You can uh, you can uh, use these other two chips to set up like auto cra uh, I mean not auto crafting, auto smelting, auto pulverizing, any of that, uh, like with thermal expansion. But I might do that. I might do a tutorial on that in a later episode uh, or a later video. So you make this blacklist, and how you can check if uh, if you already have some of these and you already did this before, and you want to check how this blacklist, just go to your inventory, press sh hold shift down, and hover over it. See it's blacklist. So basically all I want to do is right click on each one of these. Now the broadcaster chips, uh, they should already be blacklisted. Yep, they are. Uh, these broadcaster chips are already uh, blacklisted so we'll put those in here. Okay, so basically now you just want to go up here. Okay, so say if this was where you would want to request your items, you could request it there. And then let's put a junction pipe. And then you're going to want uh, your stuff that you you want to. Okay, so this this how you request your items, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, here is where you want to put the items into the system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go item extractor chip, make that blacklist, uh, get out of that, put that in here, and let's see. Let's put this stuff so we have it. So let's say if I want diamonds in my system let's say uh, whoops 64 blocks of diamond I could put in there you'll start seeing it yep okay there it goes and if you put and if you put um, uh, more of these it will transport more than one item at a time so I put four in there uh, it might transport more yep okay so it was at 48 then it was at 16 so if you so uh, it's all going to this chest right here because it's all of that one item so basically if I wanted it I just press it this um, I can control how many I can do all but let's just have one press submit there it goes uh, you can change between pages if you got a lot of stuff and here you can search for it let's, whoops. let's put this back in here now okay so this is just a basic uh, setup now if you're gonna have more than one chest like uh, let's say if you were going to do like this and this and then let's say if you're gonna go up up to four chest high what you're gonna wanna do is actually this is too close so let's move this back one oh that was a little bit of lag Mainly because I'm just uploading um, another Tag the V Team episode, so that's mainly why. 
Okay, so basically, if you're gonna do this, uh, okay, so if you're gonna do that, I would suggest to do this and change this with a routed junction pipe and put this this here and then uh, let's do that and then right here go go like this put a junction pipe right here and do this so it don't have to go up between these because that sometimes if you do that it will try to go on the chest and then it will just send it right back to here uh, to keep it from doing that I like to do this so it can just come up right through here and then go in so basically that's how you set this up uh, it's not hard the recipes for this stuff is pretty hard I might as well show you that right now uh, let's go off of okay this is gonna have to do that okay so let's go to let's just go to item transport pipes first and I'll show you how to make that it's actually this is the easiest thing to make in this uh, in this little setup here so come on what oh why are you doing that that post escape okay hold on oh okay so you just take two stone and one glass pane and you can make 16 of this and those are the easiest thing to make so far uh, in this setup um, okay let's go to the routed pipes next the routed junction pipes Oops. I could keep pressing. Uh, okay, so this is a glass pane, two diamonds, two infused silicone, which is red silicon compound, which is eight redstone around silicon, which is a silicon uh I don't know how to say that. Uh, of, on top of a diamond saw. And the diamond saw is very easy to make. Uh, just one diamond. And this, it takes sandy coal carbine, which is that. It, that's a long thing. Uh, and then you gotta have these two green for just 16 and two red for 16 uh, Which is that so basically you get it uh, For the routed whoops. Yeah, okay for the routed interface pipes. It's a router junction You can you see it. It's actually very simple to make and this one. It's easy to make uh, The diamonds if you plan on a pack that has this and you don't have applied energistics but and you can't find diamonds easy it might be harder for you to do it you might have to wait more but to attack the B team you can find them on the surface I found about maybe a stack on the surface uh, just around uh, a whole big area I just found a stack on the surface and a lot in a ravine so it's easy uh, let's show you the chips uh, okay so if you're playing in a mod pack and you have um, ultra if you have a platinum logistics I would totally uh, I would tell you to do that instead of this if you have both of them but if you don't have a power logistics and you have project red uh, use this one because it's the next best uh, thing the item responder chips ah oh, man keep okay item responder chips uh, same thing the orange is the same thing how you make the uh, other kind uh, you need a lot of glowstone for this and this is easy it's the same for item extractor, the cyan, and magenta, item broadcaster is magenta. Now, I have to say the hardest dyes to find in Tag the B team are magenta, cyan, and orange. Uh, the best way to do this is to set up a little tree farm and then go out and explore and find a magenta leaf tree and just uh, get one sapling. Do the same for an orange and cyan and also green because you're gonna need that and a red so just put those in the tree farm let it get the saplings and you can get a bunch of saplings that way and use it for this because if you see you can use saplings uh, but that's the best way to do it and also I just want to show you one more thing uh, if you on attack the B team or you have a let me see what it's what mod it's a part of it's a part of better storage if you have this mod uh, I would go if instead of uh, chest if you got a lot of ores in your uh, somehow if you got like if you got a lot of ores it depends on which one you got most of but I would definitely go for this reinforced whatever chest diamond my top two are diamonds or iron because those are the most two uh, I can find uh, the most and those 
uh, the so basically I'm just gonna show you right now uh, one reinforced iron chest has the inventory of a it don't have a whole or well, just look at this has way more inventory space than just a double chest so I would definitely go with this um, if you and how to do this is just do the same setup like you did uh, and just like okay well I'm doing uh, getting frame drops like with these you can if you just do this oh, it automatically goes like if you do it from the side but with these you it won't do it so you have to do it at the same angle and if you mess up with these you can break them with the axe uh, so you don't break them with the pickaxe I saw a YouTuber have trouble with that and an, uh, a late episode a late one of his latest episodes I'm not gonna tell you which YouTuber so yeah guys I just want to show you how to set this up it's fairly easy uh, just you need basically three types of pipes four types of pipes actually and three types of chips so yeah guys my name is critical and I'll see y'all next time.